Welcome back, guys. We have tools now, so let's get to it. Well, last time you saw, we were battling that fuel line, which we're still going to battle today. But, as you can see, the garage is filled with water, as it always does when it rains a lot. And we've had a lot of rain the past couple days, so, of course, the garage is filled with water. But, we can still get to our fuel line. I went on Amazon and bought a um, hose line bender. So that we can actually bend this hose instead of by hand like we were doing last time that is getting me frustrated. We can now bend, bend it with the tool correctly so that we can actually get the correct bend that we need so that we can finish up this fuel line. It just needs a little bit of a tweak here and there to make it perfect. Then we're going to bend the end 90 degrees and then we're going to flare it. And I'm going to show you how we flare it and do all that so we can get that done so that we can move on to the vacuum system and get that kind of laid out too. So let's grab that fuel line and bend. Look at that. With the right tool that took all of two minutes to freaking make correctly. Um, so now all I gotta do is I'm gonna bend that over so that it'll reach our fuel filter and then that line will be done. Um, then we'll just run a rubber hose to here and call that done as well. Um, but it's now in correctly and the throttles clear it and we have no issue. So let's finish bending this line so that we can get it to run the right direction and not into our throttle body. I mean our throttle cable and yeah, so let's do that. Well, we got it all bent up. It goes behind our throttle so that we do not have to worry about it getting in contact with the throttle or running I'm um, running rubbing through anything so we have that nicely done now we just need to flare the end of it so that we can put a hose on it um so let's do that real quick and I'll show you kind of how we do that so we put a little flare on it so it won't come off so that is done and in, and we will attach that right there. Our throttles are all good. Now what we really need to do is work on our throttle line so that we can actually hook up the, the throttle. Right now it's just loosely put in there. Um, because we need to do... Did I not do it? Oh, I did. <laughs> so now that we got the fuel line in place, we now have our E46. Um, as you can see, this is our E46 uh, vacuum. So that clips onto there. And this fits somewhere down in here. Um... I just have to figure out how it runs, um, but that's kind of what it, well, that's how it hooks up. <laughs> um, and then this thing, I don't know if we need this or not, and I don't even know if this plugs into the um, E36. Oop, that thing. Um, we can put this back. Um, but that clips in there and fits there I'm not sure if that plugs into the E36 or not it might but honestly I don't know which one that one is because we have a lot of three three wire clips and they all clip into things um, without you know a problem so I think that may be it maybe or the, is that the Nope, that's vacuum line. That I don't know. I'm gonna have to really search or you know, kind of look at some diagrams to see because we got nope, that one's plugged in down there. That one's plugged in there. So that may be it. I might have to just flip this around, rotate it, and plug that in. But 
you know, granted it's not the prettiest looking thing, um, but that's our vacuum rail and our idle control valve. So um, we definitely want those. This will end up going to the intake manifold, which is up in the attic, but um, that, no, nah, that's that. Um, and I'm gonna, I gotta research and see if we actually need this or not. Um, cause I don't even know. I took away our original canister. Um, oh, there's a two wire. So that actually may plug into that there because that came off the math um, stuff over here. That's our math control, like, I think our, yeah, my math is down in there somewhere. Um, Plug-in is down over there, but I was not running a math at some point, so I didn't have to have that, but I'll pull that back out. If we decide to run this whole intake manifold temporarily, um, which we might do just so we can run it and get it uh, moving. But uh, that goes into the intake manifold for the S54. Um, and I'm, I'm going to assume that plugs into... So let's... Yeah, because that's kind of in the same area as the other idle control valve, which was down under there. You can see the kind of the little um, holder for it. So... Um, I don't know if we can actually run it to that holder because it's right in the way of the throttles, but, um, I don't know. We'll see. Let me look at, uh, 1011's Racing sent me a picture of his whole setup on this side, so let me see how this works and if that's where that goes. So, looking at the picture, yes, he actually flipped this to the other side so that this would plug in from that side. So, that is what I'll do. Um, I can't tell if he ran this one. Yeah, he did. You can see it right there. So, um, yeah, so that is, uh, we just need to flip it, but I need to get some... New clamps on there so that we can take all these factory clamps so that we can actually, um, you know, mess with this. So, but for the most part, fuel is done other than the line that I got to go get, which I'm going to go get today. Flip this, hook that up. I had the other piece that comes down and up. Um, then that should be good. And then we can actually put the, test fit the um, intake manifold on here um, and see if that actually fits and works and stuff. Um, you know, part of all that, other than the, the throttle we need to fix, we need to finish up the um, AN lines over to the breather where we need to mount the breather. Um, I think my, I want my next thing to do is finish the throttle. Um, but to do that, I need to get into the car and we're filled with water and I don't want to do that right now. So what should be next on our list? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll be right back. Well, guys, I was going to run this catch can and run our lines, but it appears... And I don't know if I, I need to do my research and stuff, but let me get you guys aimed down a little bit. But it does appear, and these aren't tight, it does appear that I have the wrong size hose. Um, so it's the right length hose, but I think the inner diameter is is wrong um, that they sent me so I can't even slip this up and over that fitting to even get this kind of tightened down but I could be wrong maybe I'm wrong I don't know I'm gonna have to do some research on how to actually make a in lines because I don't um, 
I don't actually know how to do this. I've never done A in line. So, um, let me go research and see if I'm doing this right or if I'm doing this wrong. Or if I need a different size hose. Let's see. I'll be back. Oh, definitely have the wrong hose size. So, um, yeah. So, I, I have the wrong hose size. So, I need to order some bigger, thicker hoses for this. And then that means, also, I had this just sitting um, for free which I'll put it back on the shelf, but that means I need to get a different catch can with um, a larger port opening for the larger hose size. That's the small hose size, so I'll get a different um, tank for that, so that's not a, not a problem. So we can't do our catch can, so we can't finish that today. Um, and I wish I could move can I move the car? I can't move the car enough to get where there's no water. Um, and my pump, it's not enough water to set the pump off. But um, this is still an issue that I deal with because I don't know if you can see, but if you can see outside is that height. And here we're down low. So any water that comes in there just kind of in here. So garage is still an issue of drying it in but um we gotta do a lot of work um to make that happen but for now this is basically a stopping point for right now but for you guys it's gonna be just a transition because i need to go get some parts i need to go get some hoses i need to go get some clamps i need to do some ordering online and then we will be back with this video. So we got our fuel line and it is on. It's a little long, but we'll trim it um, just a little bit so that we make sure we make a nice tight round. Um, we need to cut about, I'd say about six inches off or so. Um, we need to pull it off and then we'll run it make sure it's where it needs to be and then we'll trim it right there at that H on that side so let's unplug it from this side and we'll cut it right here and then we'll run it so let's get this fuel line done so the fuel will be complete and we don't have to with it anymore and we can jump to the vacuum system Okay, fuel line is on. Now we just need to get this rotated. And I don't think... I'm going to take this off this... Um, uh, I don't know how this comes off. I think it just squeeze it, don't you? There it goes. We need to get this... This rotated 90 degrees. And I don't think we can do that with the clamp on there. So I got new clamp. So we need to take this forever clamp off and rotate this and rotate that so that it's in the right position. But we need to get that off. So let's get the forever clamp off so we can rotate this so we can plug it in. And we can be done with the vacuum system for right now till we can test fit the manifold. We're taking one of these forever clamps off. It's a one time use, you just gotta pop all of those off, pull it, throw it away, and rotate. So we already got that one off, we need to rotate that that way. Then that fits back there, that points that way, this plugs into there, and look at that, we're done. Um, other than we need to actually put clamps on these. So, um, I bought new clamps, but I think those are way too big. Um, see if I have any, I have a whole bunch of clamps in here with different sizes. Uh, 
Too small. Too small! Let's see. Is this the same size? Uh, looks about the same size, so maybe they were. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's unplug this first. So we can bring this up here. Take this hose off, because I can easily take that hose off. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Won't it? Cool. We'll have to adjust this one, of course, because we need to have it where ever the bottom of the manifold is, but we're just gonna get this stuff tight so that when we're working and doing stuff, we're not, we're not being dumb and we forget to tighten something. Um, I'd rather, you know, not forget to tighten something and rather have it tight and then having to adjust it later versus, well, I thought I had cleaned that sucker out. Well, that thing's not flapping around. That thing should be, for an idle control valve, should be flapping around a little bit. Okay. So let's, before we put this in, let's clean this thing. See if we can can't get this thing to make some noise. There's some brake parts cleaner in this thing. Ugh. See, we can't get this thing to loosen up. Because it theoretically should make noise. If it's not all gummed up. But, we'll see. I have to keep going and... We'll see if we can make it make noise. The, the car's got some crap on it, but now we have a, a sound. Still, it's, it's really gummed up. Um, from previous stuff, but it is fairly clean now. And it makes its noise. So that's what we want to hear. Right there. That's it. Grab a rag and wipe this down. Oh no! Oh god! It's all brake parts cleaner and dirt. It's all over the car, but guess what? Car is getting painted, so it does not matter. Uh, but it is all over my hands, which is going to take a miracle to get off, so. But we have that sound now, so that's what we really care about. And we want this sucker to go like that. Oh, shoot. So we got to put our clamp on first. Oh, I was like, what did I do with my clamp? Uh, clamp seems really big. Clamp might be too big, but let's get this clamp down. Or at least close. Temporarily, so I can... Figure out what the heck's going on. A really big clamp. I think it's the wrong size. We'll get a new one. Done. Just needs to hold vacuum for a little bit. Okay. Put our throttle up there. That's plugged in. And of course this is... <laughs> I'm dumb. I didn't align this at all. I didn't even try. 
So let's take this back off. Let's take our throttle linkage off. I mean, our throttle position sensor off. Let's. Where the heck does this thing go? Hang on. Let's unplug some stuff. Okay, this thing sits right there. Okay. So let's see what we can do to make this appear a little better. Seems like there's a lot of sh in the way. Strange. Really. Really, really strange. Seems like that. Coolant hose is in the way. Right there. That coolant hose does sit right there, but. Ah, it just seems like everything is freaking in the way. So we're gonna run that up and over like that, I guess. Cause I know this normally sits back here, but it's in the way of the throttle, and it doesn't doesn't work with this. Um, so I'm guessing that's where that. Oh, we've got to tighten that down. <laughs> so I don't honestly know how. I'm gonna have to look at some other pictures and stuff as well to see how. Other people have run this because this just seems like it's like all up in the way. Hang on, let's turn. Uh, get this go back. Nice if I even put the clamp where it needs to be. God, I'm just off today. So I know this is my throttle body. Heater delete hose, but it just seems like that's in the way too. But I could loop that down and under. I could do it the other way, but that just seems like it's in the way. All this stuff seems like it's in the way, and it's all freaking trash tacular. But that appears to be done. So honestly, that is my stopping point for tonight. Um, and I am done, hooked up, where fuel is done. We can actually test, um, I can charge the battery um, and test the fuel, prime it up, see if we have any leaks. That can be one thing down. Um, I did order new AN lines. For the breather, we're going to have to figure out a new catch can because now the catch can doesn't work. But the lines for the breather are on their way. Fuel's done, officially done. Vacuum is officially done. Um, so let's go. This garage is a complete mess because now people have started putting other things in here that don't belong in here. But um, we'll get that taken care of. Not this weekend. We got to go to the ranch this weekend to pick up a trailer. But maybe next weekend before we leave for. Ugh. Okay. So our to-do list. Let's cross some stuff off. Fuel filter. <coughs> Done. Fuel line. <coughs> Done. Euro oil filter housing. Done. Math wiring, no. TPS wiring, no. Radiator fan, oil cooler AN line fittings. Done. Coolant expansion tank is almost there. Um, S32 coil packs, we got our coil packs in. Oil change, Oil catch can and AN fitting lines. No, we're, we ordered them. Body. We have a lot to do on the body. Interior. We're not worried about that. We're worried about this. So our next on our list. Finish throttle body linkage. That's number one. Then number two is math wiring. I know we got to switch like a one, one wire. We got to repin it. Number two. Then 
Where's my intake manifold? Number three is the intake manifold. The intake elbow, I... These two, I really want to run open throttles, but for the time being, I may run a full intake, so we are have to order that. That's four. Then we got to go five for the wiring, six for the fan. Then that'll basically get us engine start. So let's try to knock out those six things. This week. Actually, no. Let's try to knock out one, two, and three this coming week. Let's hope so. We should be able to do that. That's good. The rest of this list is body and interior and wheels and stuff like that. That I'm worried about start motor. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. Like, comment, subscribe. We're getting it every Wednesday at 6 p.m. We're uploading. So far, we've gotten, what, three weeks, four weeks in a row, guys? So, chugging along. See you guys next video.